Hello everyone, welcome to another Project Showcase. Today I will be presenting my latest project, Photo Mosaic. This tool allows you to create a beautiful mosaic out of a set of images you provide. Here are some examples. These are just some of the mosaics I came up with, however the possibilities are endless with this tool. Let me show you how it works. From our website link below, you can download the project files in a compressed format. We must first extract these files to use the tool. Now we can open the program by double-clicking the application file. We are presented with an empty form from which we must populate with an input image and input tiles. I can click on this button to select an image, or I can simply click the demo button down here to give me some sample images to work with. Now that I have some images selected, I can move on to the options section. In scale output, I can reduce or enlarge the input image and tiles as wanted. Here at the bottom, I am shown what the final dimensions of the mosaic would be given these parameters. Over here in the color matching algorithm section, I'm given a variety of options related to color matching. The program works by comparing each pixel in the source image to the average colors of the tiles. To do this, I use algorithms specifically for color matching and some work better than others. The better ones do work a bit slower, however. Information about the algorithms and all other aspects of PhotoMosaic are available in the user manual up here. Here in the matching rule section, I can decide if I want to find the most similar tile per color of the source image or vary them a bit. In processing, I can choose how many virtual processors to allocate to the task of generating a mosaic up to the max amount present in your computer. I can also choose to split the final mosaic into smaller images. Now that all my options are selected, I can simply hit the generate button and it will begin working. Once it is done, I'm presented with a window showing off my new mosaic. I can save this image to the disk by clicking this button. From here, I can open the image and look at it, print it out, or do whatever else with. That's about it. I'd love if you give Photo Mosaic a try for yourself and tell me what you think in the comments or on my social media. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you next time.